Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today I am actually off to a wedding. I thought I would quickly show you how I curl my hair. There's a little bit of a makeup clip and also I thought I'd show you my dress. I'm starting to lose my voice, I'm not sure why, but um, also I have got blue nails, that was kind of an accident. Um, I forgot that I wasn't going to change my nail colour before the wedding and so I, yeah, I'm going with blue nails but you know, my dress is black, so I don't think it looks too bad. I'm also not really too sure about, like, wedding etiquette. I think because it's quite a small wedding, a black dress is fine. I'm not sure if generally a black dress is fine, but I'm hoping they won't mind. It's, um, maybe not my most flattering dress, but I do think it's pretty. It's from Zara. But without further ado, let's just start with my video. There's some really exciting products, and I'm talking about a hair tong and blow dryer that I've never spoken about on my channel. I always love talking about new products, so I hope you enjoy it. So I'm going to start with my hair, and you'll very rarely see me with wet hair. I do not look cute with wet hair, but since this is a get ready with me, and I don't think I've ever done a get ready with me, including my blow drying routine, I thought today I would show you how I do that. I start by obviously just brushing my hair. Nothing fancy here. Everyone knows how to brush their hair. So the blow dryer I'm currently using is the Nikki Clark super shine dryer it is amazing i used to use a really really expensive blow dryer and this one is just as good if not better it prevents frizz stray and static hair with the help of ionic conditioning function which i find leaves my hair looking much shinier but just generally this blow dryer gets my hair dried really quickly and i think it looks really sleek i don't really do anything fancy when drying my hair this blow dryer has loads of settings which i personally really love i change the settings depending on what section of my hair i'm doing if i'm doing a blow dry and not curling my hair after then i definitely use the cooling setting i think the cool setting is amazing if i'm going to curl my hair then i generally just rough dry my hair i would do a little bit of more precise drying but not very much turn my head upside down to add a little bit more volume and i just find that because my hair is so fine that rough drying just works so much better for it um, i do then section off my hair and start blow drying section by section for my fringe i kind of dry it in the opposite direction of where I want it to sit just because I find that it adds volume and that's all I want in life is voluminous hair and trust me it's a struggle but not really very precise drying at all I just wanted my hair dry with a bit of volume and that's it then I like to let my hair cool a bit and to ensure it's fully dry I just like to do my makeup Nothing really fancy here, I just wanted something quite natural, just the usual um, foundation, concealer, eyeshadow, brows, and then I get back on to doing my hair. So using the Nikki Clark Super Shine, which has a steam conditioning function to ensure your hair is hydrated and nourished. So you just fill up the little water compartment in the tong, which is super easy to do, and then you just attach that back onto the tong and press the top button a couple of times to get the steam function rolling. Um, and then I just part my hair and start with the bottom section. As I go along, I just press a little steam function and I just find that my curls come out perfect and really healthy looking and shiny. And of course, just go around the whole head doing that. I like to curl away from my face. I just find that the curls look nicer, far more flattering on my face and it looks a little bit more polished, I think. So just going all around the head. It's a really easy tongue to use. My hair is quite short and although I'm putting funny faces, not difficult at all. And if you've got even longer hair, then it's even easier. And I just like to work my way up my head, just twist around the hair tongue, press the little steam function, and that's it. I try not to touch the curl too much straight after it's come off the tongue, just so I can let them cool a little bit. I was actually a little bit sceptical, but it leaves my curls looking amazing, and I think it's particularly nice for quite glossy, shiny hair. And I look a little bit crazy here, my curls look a bit crazy, but I just want to let them cool a little bit. And I just go back to my makeup before coming back to brush out my hair lightly with a soft brush. I just back comb the ends a little tiny bit to add a little bit more volume. And that's pretty much it. I did add a bit of hairspray to keep the curl in, 
but it actually lasted very, very well. And then onto my dress, it's actually an oldie, I'm so sorry, but I will link something down below that's quite similar. It's from Zara. Shoes are Primark, super comfy. And here's a final look at my hair, I really, really liked it. They lasted really well. And I think I'll be using this tong for a very long time. It was really, really amazing. The whole Nikki Clark range is available from Argos. I'll link everything down below, including prices. So that's the end of my video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. I have to leave. I am really looking forward to it. Um, although I feel like I might get stuck in traffic on the way there. I'm not looking forward to that in the slightest. But thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And also let me know if you'd like to see more Get Ready With Me's. I'm off on holiday very, very soon. Um, and I would love to do more of these whilst I'm away. But like the video and I shall see you soon. Bye.